Hi guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how you can replace the cartridge on your single handle Delta faucet and you can see mine is very stiff uh, up and down and opening it, it's very very hard so I'm going to be replacing the cartridge. So on the very bottom of this there's a screw that you need to unscrew to remove the front handle but let me show you what part you need. So this is the genuine Delta and uh, this is the part number RP73000 and uh, this is the kit that you're going to need for you to fix your issue it comes with a smaller screw inside this so let's go ahead and open it and see what's inside there should be a one screw with the hex and just make sure you save it uh, you will need a hex key to open it but uh, inside here there's some instruction and uh, the main thing is the cartridge and um, this is the main piece you know for the puzzle you know we need to replace the old one and put this uh, new cartridge in because this is going to solve our issue so as you can see it's a brand new cartridge and uh, we'll go ahead and replace that so a few tools that you're going to need for this job you know a couple of pliers you know I think uh, one channel lock will be okay or any kind of bigger plier but the other main thing you need is uh, this uh, hex key you know that you're going to need to unscrew the bolt so we're going to just make sure you have the right size, you know, just plug it in, make sure it is the right one because the old one is the exact same one. So we're going to go ahead and unscrew and take the top part of the faucet because you need access to the uh, valve. So this is a little bit tricky. You need to find the right angle and uh, just keep turning it. And uh, once you have it out, this thing should just slip right out. So you don't really have to unscrew the entire screw. You just do a little bit you know and um, that's something I learned by doing this uh, job is uh, I was uh, trying to take the whole thing off because my faucet is a little bit old you know but actually if you just pull on it with uh, the screw a little bit loose it should just come right off so as you can see there is a gap right here and this is where the screw tights it you know so it's, it's like a kind of like, kind of like a spade so you have access so once you lose it you know you should be able to just pull it right off so if you're unable to pull it off it might be just some gunk and stuff in there but uh, you don't really have to take the full screw out like I did so now I'm just matching the orientation of the valve you know uh, you want to put it in exactly the same way as you take the old one out so we're gonna go ahead and remove that old one and uh, let me set the camera so you guys can see a better view okay so let's go ahead and uh, remove the top plastic cover and just use your hand you don't want to be using any kind of plier or anything because it's gonna scratch up so this is just uh, it's not a screwed on it's hold by a rubber ring you know so you can just slip it right off and uh, there's a tiny rubber ring on top you know that you should just remove off you know and uh, then once you remove the rubber ring I didn't show the rubber ring over here but once you remove the rubber ring you can just grab it with the plier and uh, just uh, turn it counterclockwise and um, this uh, holding screw should come off and uh, then your cartridge should just come right off so now you just take a rag and just clean up inside you know if any debris or anything that might be stuck inside you know it's uh, it happens sometimes you know with the calcium built up and things like that you know you can also use uh, some kind of a uh, cleaner inside you know but make sure you rinse it off you know I'm not using any kind of cleaner uh, but I'm just using a dry rag and uh, clean it out so once uh, you feel that it is clean you can take a flashlight and uh, just inspect the inside and just uh, just look at the inside if you if you really look inside you'll see a pattern uh, that you can see right here and uh, when you when, once you're installing the cartridge you want to make sure that pattern is a nice and clean there's no debris on that you know and then you can take the new valve and just match the pattern and uh, you know there are grooves on top of the the new one and it should just fit right in and once you put it in you know you'll see it won't move you know just fit right into those grooves and uh, just just match it you know just take just be patient you know you don't want to be rushing in at this moment and mine fits right in and now it's just a matter of putting the ring back on and uh, just hand tie it and then you're going to take a plier and turn it now at this stage one thing you want to be careful is you don't want to be turning it way too much because if you do you're going to create uh, too much resistance you know or you're going to push in the valve way too much and it might 
tighten the valve, you know, so you just give it a couple of turns, you know, just enough, you know, for it to hold the cartridge in place. Uh, you don't want to over tight it, you know, you just want nice and snug. So in this stage, in fact, I, I did over tighten a little bit. I had to come back and uh, loosen it up a little bit because my handle was a little bit stiff. So when I, once I loosen it just a hair bit, it did help. So, um, you know, I think uh, I'm just going to go ahead and stop right here. I, I may have overdone it. But, uh, you know, that's, that's more of like a trial and error kind of thing. You know, you can move it and see how it feels, you know, and then adjust it according to your needs. So, you know, again, don't over tight it. So now uh, we're at a stage, we're going to go ahead and install the, um, the top part and uh, just move it. And, you know, this is where you can really feel how soft or hard it is, you know. So again, I'm just matching it with my old cartridge to make sure everything went in fine. And it uh, looks like this is good to go. And uh, now we're going to put the screw in. And you want to screw in just like that before beforehand because uh, you won't be able to do it, you know, without doing this part. So put the screw in, you know, the, the new cartridge, they don't have the grooves already made or pre-made for the screw in. So by putting the screw in, you're actually making those grooves. So you want to make sure the screw is nice and straight, you know, when you, once you're putting it in. And I'm, uh, I apologize, my hand is blocking most of it, but you know, all I'm doing is just tightening that screw and, uh, you know, just to, just to make that, there you go, you can see, you know, and just keep tightening it, you know, so you just want enough room that you can slide in the handle. And once your handle is in, then you can just uh, go back from the, from the back side and screw the rest of it to hold that handle, you know, so then that's, that's exactly what I'm doing. Didn't realize my hand was blocking it. So just once you tighten, the back screw and uh, it will hold the thing you know so it came off right now because mine was loose so I'm gonna go ahead and put this on and uh, just keep tightening it okay so at this stage I'm just tightening the screw and uh, once once it's nice and tight you'll have a feeling for it you can pull onto the handle and you'll see that you won't be able to pull the handle off so that gives you an indication that it's nice and tight and uh, I think mine is good right here so I'm gonna go ahead and stop at this you don't want to be over tightening and breaking it so i think that's pretty much it you know so it's uh, all done and uh, i think that's pretty much how you replace the cartridge on the delta faucet and uh, now i think it's nice and smooth you know when i run it you can see the water is flowing pretty nice and smooth you know it's not holding or stressing so so let's take a look at our old Delta cartridge that we removed, which is in pretty bad shape. So I'm glad that we removed it. Guys, hopefully this video helps you guys. If you like the video, please subscribe to my channel and like the video. Thank you.